Hey, my name is Dan. I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now in this video, I want to talk to you about not buying a car, but actually servicing your car and specifically putting nitrogen in your tires and being scammed by very good salesmen that's going to charge you $10, $8 a tire to put nitrogen in there and all the magical promises that they're going to promise you. FYI, air, the stuff that we breathe, the stuff that you have in your tires right now is 78% nitrogen right now. You're 78% there. They're going to charge you $40 plus tax to put extra 20% of nitrogen in there. That's it. Only 20%. 1% is going to be just random stuff. There's going to be some oxygen in there, 21% oxygen, and 78% of nitrogen is already in your tires. So when they're telling you they're going to put nitrogen in your tires, here's a couple of different things they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you that nitrogen expands less and contracts less than air. Not true. They're also going to tell you that nitrogen is a smaller molecule than oxygen and it's going to escape less from your tire than oxygen would. It's true. The difference in size between nitrogen molecule and oxygen molecule is less than 2%. Less than 2%. In fact, they are so small, you don't even measure them in nanometers. You measure them in billionth of a meter. That's how tiny they are. They're super tiny. So if you think that 2% is going to make any difference, do not worry. It won't because there was actually an experiment done where they filled up 31 pairs of tires, 31 tires with regular air and 31 tires with nitrogen. The difference was 0.025%. That's a quarter of a percent. They left those tires sitting in a warehouse for a year or whatever the hell they left them sitting for a year. In one year, the difference between oxygen escaping and nitrogen escaping was less than a quarter of a percent. That is super insignificant. That is not worth $40. Now, something else they're going to tell you is air has water vapor in it. It is true. They're going to tell you that water vapor expands. It is true. They're going to tell you that they use dry nitrogen. That is true also. But one thing they are not telling you is when they put a tire on, there is air in the tire. Are they going to suck out the air from the atmosphere that got into the tire before they add nitrogen to it? No, they won't. They don't suck the old air out that's in there. They just add nitrogen to it. So there is water vapor in the tire already. So as soon as the nitrogen goes from their tank to your tire, it's going to get mixed with the air that's inside your tire already. So you do not have 100% nitrogen in your tire already. You have contaminated that good nitrogen that was in their huge container that it was stored on perfectly. As soon as they add it to your tire, that shit got fucked up. Now, they also add lubricant around the tire to make it easier to put it onto the rim. And so it sticks better to the rim. So it has actually uh, small adhesive properties. So whether they use a spray of some kind, a lubricant of some kind, which is water-based, they use water-based lubricants, or whatever lubricant they're going to use, it's going to, whatever liquid goes in there, it's going to expand and contract no matter what. But most shops use this here. But that's it. You know what this is? Water with a little bit of dish soap. Or the Schrader valve, I should say. Now we're going for lubricants. How I always say everything goes better, to, goes together better with lubricants. There's all kinds of stuff you can use for this. I'm not really sure what kind of spray Scott has here, but I've seen soapy water. I've seen just like some kind of waxy goo. That's it, 99 cent solution. They spray it in there, put the tire on, and guess what's going on inside your tire right now? You have air with moisture, you have water from the lubricant. So now you have water in your tire, you have moisture from the air in your tire, and you're going to remedy that with nitrogen? No, that's complete bullshit. Don't put nitrogen in your tires. Simple as that. It's the biggest scam out there. 
Now, for all of you who are pretending to be scientists, you're gonna tell me that NASA used nitrogen in their tires. Is your 1968 Ford Pento a NASA project? No, I didn't think so. You're gonna tell me that, well, Formula One uses nitrogen in their tire. They do? Are you gonna be taking any corners at 120 miles an hour in a million dollar race car? No, no, you won't be. Okay, then you probably do not need $40 worth of nitrogen. I'm not telling you not to. It's your life, it's your money. But don't think that it will add any value. You can put it in your tire, but it will not add any value at all. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and click the subscribe button over my head or watch one of those two videos if you want to see more money saving tips about cars. This is Dan with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you on the internet.